Hi everyone, so welcome back to another video. So I've got a, a pretty highly requested video from you guys, especially in the comments, just talking about wanting to add Trustpilot to your competition website. Now I'm gonna go through this video, show you how to basically, to create an account and tie it in with your WooCommerce um, system so that every time someone makes a sale, they're gonna have you know a, an, an email after a few days asking for a review of your competition website it's a great way to show trust it's i use it for this competition demo uh, and it's uh, and it's worked great so i'm going to go through and add this kind of tr what they call a trust box i think uh, and you can click onto it and it brings you directly through to your uh, review website and you know adds up, like their their title says a lot of trust to your your competition website uh, but we'll go ahead, we'll sh I'll show you from the start to finish how to get it sorted. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you don't want to sign in or sign up as a customer. You want to sign up as a company. So at the top right, after going to trustpilot.com, uh, go to four companies. Now that will redirect you to their business site. And in there, this is where you want to create a free account. So add in all your information, add in your phone number, all the rest of it, and create a free account. Uh, next you'll be landing on their their dashboard and that's that's where I'm going to show you exactly how to tie in your website right okay so now you've went through that uh, whole create account process this is what you should be showing uh, the first thing you really want to do is just get familiarize yourself with it have a check through the the different options they have here you know there's more than one way to uh, ask your customers for a review one being that they have uh, purchase but you can invite customers manually in here uh, I think they still do it at the moment but it might be going away so there's 64 days left to invite your past customers uh, but automatic feedback is probably the best way you want to do it now we have uh, an integration called WooCommerce that's what we use uh, to you know purchase tickets on our website so that's the the integration that we want to choose so if you click in there that will bring you down to the integrations tab on the left hand side and it's a very simple process so how to download and install the plugin so you would click on this blue button it gives you a wee, uh, zip file down here uh, and all you need to do is when you go back to your website all you need to do then is go down to plugins and add new you'll have done this a couple of times but go up to upload plugin and then drag and drop choose file I just drag and drop it from the downloads area in the bottom left hand corner here straight onto the choose file and works fine okay that's now that's uh, installed all I need to do is activate that uh, once it's activated uh, a new item will come up on the left hand side uh, bringing you to the dashboard so there's trustpilot on the left hand side click on that now all you need to do is log in uh, use your email and password you created at the start of this video uh, it's pretty self-explanatory I'll log in here and then we'll get to the next step so what Trustpilot is saying here now that we went to the second step uh, Trustpilot will add cookies to your website so that does mean that we need to uh, ask the customer if they want to consent to these cookies now, a quick way to do that in, um, in the template is to hover over get found go to theme options we'll open this in a new window uh, and on the bottom here, so it says cookie notice. We just go ahead and turn that on, uh, and that's it. So we just save changes. So that means next time we go to the to the raffle website, I'm going to get a notice at the bottom here saying this cookie uses cookies uh, to improve your experience. If, if you continue to use the site, you agree with it. So you can okay, all good. So we now have consent to use cookies with trustpilot so understand and accept go ahead so once you get in you'll have this uh, welcome to trustpilot plugin guide so it'll give you a pretty much a step-by-step -step guide of how to uh, integrate uh, the plugin into your website now basically all that does is step you through the top processes here so all we want to do is really just go through your invitations you know making sure that you know on uh, order confirmed we want uh, an email to go out asking for a review from that customer you know that's a three-day process so after three days they'll get that automated email 
or six days, you know, whatever you feel is mo most appropriate uh, to send someone an email asking for a review. So you just save changes at the bottom. Product reviews, we don't really uh, use product reviews because it's, they're all competitions. Uh, past orders, you know, you can sync orders from the past. So say you, you've already been running your competition website and you've just installed Trustpilot. Maybe you want to invite your past customers to uh, you know, review your website. It's a really good idea to start getting off the line. It takes maybe 10 or 15 reviews to get you know, the stars into the green. You do start off at a, around about a 3.5 out of 5, even though you have just 5 star reviews. Uh, I think it took me up to 45 to get a full 5 stars. Uh, so it does take a while, but if you've got more traffic, more, uh, more sales, the quicker it'll go. Uh, for you guys so again sync up all the orders once you once you're happy with that so now we're in the trust box section the place that i find best for uh, adding a trust box is actually in this area just above how to play uh, most people will scroll past this area so they'll see the five stars uh, but also it'll be on every single page then you know if you go on to uh, an iphone page you know this how to play area will be on it as well so it'll be iterated again to your customers so on the left hand side here i would say starter is the best option for this the non-premium starter uh, all you need to do is drag and drop just above the how to play you can then go on and customize that so you can say it's the light theme or the dark theme i would say because it's on a colored background i'm going to put it in the dark theme that means the text is turning white so we'll go up to the top right hand corner here and click publish changes now they're published we'll go to the home page of the website Give it a wee refresh, see what it looks like. Head on down, there it is. Check out our 46 reviews on Trustpilot. So that's it, just a quick video of how to install this kind of trust box onto your uh, DIY raffle website. If you do want more information on the, on the DIY raffle website, make sure you check out the demo on the link below. Thank you very much for watching the video. So there'll be a few more of these to come in the next couple of weeks. And then hopefully come uh, 2021 there'll be much kind of more long form content uh, if you have any ideas feel free to put them in the comments again uh, below but anyway until next one cheers